Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're in the shop, we're just doing a quick one. I got a pedal in for repair. I thought it'd be fun to do it together. So come on, let's go. I got this MXR phaser pedal in from my buddy Bruce. He plays a lot of Van Halen, can you tell? And he said that he dropped this pedal and then it stayed on all the time. So kind of weird symptom, but let's take a look. Let's see what's going on. Let's get a little patch cable. It's on. But don't turn off. All right. I think I might be able to see the problem here already. This switch looks a little funky. All right. Let's get in there and see if we can figure it out. Get rid of that cheap China battery. Gross. Switch is on the board. Okay. Let me grab a couple sockets real quick. This a few moments later. Go get deep well sockets. This is what's going to give you the right amount of torque. You'll have enough pressure to take it off. And you can't tighten it up too much it's just your hand on it i mean you could break it if you monkey fucked it on there but you're generally not gonna hurt them too bad if you're just putting them on there by hand with these this one's spinning inside Let's if i can hold it in here Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. All right, Bruce. You need a, a board-mounted stomp box switch. Easy enough repair. Dang. Okay. So we're going to have to order that. When it comes, we'll just desolder this off the board here. And then solder a new one on. It's really simple repair. But don't have these in stock. Got to order this. Dang. All right. Stick around till the second half. Actually, it's going to be the second half for you. It's going to be the second half, like, right away. It's going to be a while for me. Like, I'm... I'm the one that's got to put this back together so I don't lose the parts and, and then wait. Stank. All right, well, let's go to the second part because that's going to be good for you guys. Ready? Second part. 2,000 years later. I got the switch. Let's look at that. It's a genuine Dunlop Electronics. Got this on eBay. I'll leave a link. And it's the right switch for this pedal. Says so. MXR. MXR switch right there on it. That's what it says. All right. Let's MXR this guy in the place. Feels a lot better than what was going on in there. All right. Special solder sucker. Ooh, that's dirty. Clean your solder tips.
Yeah. 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 Hmm. I don't know if you're going to hear anything with a single tone. Maybe I should just stop plugging it into weird shit. I hear some kind of time based thing happening. Going wop 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 and it slows down when I do this. All right, that that doesn't make sense. I know Phaser works on bass. I'm just I had a brain fart for a minute. Let's plug it into a real guitar. Let's see what's going on here. work. Oh. Oh. Is it popping? I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's a low battery. Hold on. I got a power supply here. Now, if I'd have had that plugged into a guitar in the first place, I would have heard the popping and recognized it and went, oh, it's a low battery. Watch. I'm so confident. There it is. It was just a little low on power. Okay. Sounds good. All right, Bruce, come get your pedal. There it is. MXR Phase 90 Easy Repair. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys like what we do, if you enjoy the channel, please click like, click subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you get notified every time that I post new content. Thanks so much. It really helps out a small channel like mine. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.